What is up YouTube? That's here today. I'm back playing more VGC 2023 Series 2 content. Today we're using a team that looks like a Dozo team. There's a Dozo, there's a Tatsu, there's a Pomot to revive either of them. But there's also a Mousehold Ape, there's a Goldango, and this team, I like to call it Pomot Turbo. I built this team in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with one of my patrons. We're accepting a ton of people for one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions in the max tier of patrons. So if you've ever been curious about, you know, potentially making a team with me where I help you figure out your play style and build a team from scratch that you can use in your own games, think about checking out the Patreon. There's a link to it in the description. But yeah, I really wanted to feature Pama. They really wanted to feature Pama, and I think Pama can be really, really cool here. The standard play will be to a Revival Blessing, either the Dozer or the Tatsu, but what I really like is Revival Blessing your mouse hold after it got killed earlier, or your Annihilate to go double dip for like a second, like half HP final gambit or multiple Rage Fists, or even a Gold Dango to then re-come back out and make it rain in the late game. I think it's really, really cool to condition them into protecting the block double shocks, condition them and protecting block fake outs or other things like that going for that free revival blessing and just continuing to keep up the tempo you're playing like a 5v4 since you get that little extra mon so i think this team's a lot of fun and uh hopefully it wins some games um i think it's gonna do okay i think pama is definitely underrated so wish me luck here we go dozo tatsu versus Dozo Tatsu. I think this is actually a pretty good board state. I think you can just trick the specs onto the Dozo and probably be in a really, really good spot. So I'm gonna lead Goldango. And like, I'm not gonna lie, is, is Goldango Pomot really good? Cause I can go fake out into the Dozo. And then I just bring in the Ape. And we're just not bringing our Dozo. Nah, fam, dude. This is how you play Dozo. <laughs> bring all the other mons that support the Dozo and then just don't bring Dozo. This is gonna be good. Um, I think realistically that Brute Bonnet's gonna be something that's really hard to play around, but Pawmot should be good on paper against it. Um, another good thing, like Mousehold's pretty good versus Pawmot. Um, no, sorry, Mousehold's pretty good versus uh, Brute Bonnet. I think as long as we get the Dozo off the board, they're probably gonna wanna like screens up. I wouldn't be surprised to see like a Dozo Grim board and then where they go like protect Dozo, set a screen and then go Tatsu. That's kind of what I would expect here. Um, and so one of the good things about that is like Goldango should just be able to melt the Grim off the board. Or maybe we still just go for the trick into the Dozo slot and just try our best to be a big bully. We can even fake out the Grim and trick the Dozo. Nah, I don't wanna like that. You'd fake out the Dozo to keep it honest. And trick Grim? No. It's hard to say. I think you could always, you could probably always fake out Dozo and bring in a Nile. You can probably always do that. Let's see. I think this person's like a top two or 300 player. So this is gonna be a pretty hard matchup. I wonder if we're gonna go Bonnet Grim. That wouldn't happen, right? That would lose to so many things, like Goldango. <laughs> Goldango would get in there, man. So let's see it. This is how I like to play Dozo. Use the Dozo as bait. You dangle it in front. And you're like, come on, come on. All right, that's fine. So we have a faster fake out. You just fake out the Bonnet. Right? What do you do? What do you do here? Like, this is such big damage versus Bonnet. I kind of want that vest. I kind of want that vest, though, bro. Let's do it. Just trick. I think trick's fine. Ooh, Dozo. I'm gonna laugh. It's like Tatsu here, and Dozo's switching on a trick. There's the Dozo. Okay. They're gonna try and bolt switch, right? All right, so let me see what item I'm getting out of this. Vest? Choice specs and citrus. Do I take a citrus value? Drain punch, ow. That hurts, man. That hurts my feelings. Okay, so Palmot definitely doesn't wanna get messed up. I wanted to take the leftovers from the dozo. Like, let's see, I could have just clicked make it rain. And like, I guess I still just can click make it rain. And we just pivot out here for Tatsu. Or sorry, for Annihilate. So if you pivot in for Tatsu, you just, your Dozo takes like small chip. And then next turn, I just go into it with a Final Gambit. It's probably fine. Dozo's hard to beat in a Dozo Mirror, though. Like, I guess I could bring Dozo to fight Dozo. But, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they're protecting their Dozo and going for another Drain Punch in that slot. There it is. Show me Drain Punch. Don't wild charge me, bro. 
They gotta lock themselves into the slot. So if they drain punch here, they can't hit anything with that slot. So that means they would be pivoting it for Toxian because they're specs now. It doesn't do anything at all though. It's fine. We uh, ignore the unaware boost. So drain punch. They're locked in there. So that they are definitely 100% pivoting that thing up for Toxian. So that means we can just go into the Dozo slot. Um, I don't really want to give it a Citrus Berry, but like, I think we'll just attack it. I think we'll just go for like Shadow Ball into it. And I don't need to Terrastalize. I kind of want to just curse it, but I'll Gambit. So right now they can't do anything with that with the hands. They got to switch it out. And then when they bring it back in, it's locked into whatever move it wants or whatever move it goes for. So they're pivoting that in for Tatsu, I'm sure. And I don't know if their Dozo outspeeds this Annihilate set, but, like, we had a pretty decent Annihilate set. Remember, um, I do have minus one of my Goldango, but the Dozo's unaware makes them unaware of my stat drops, so I'm in a pretty good spot. It'd be nice to get this thing off the board, basically trading Annihilate, um, but we'll see what we can get done. It's gonna be... All right, cool. So happy to get that. Bunch of damage here. Like, that's, that's a lot. I think Shadow Ball might be able to do it. Come on, Shadow Ball. This is stab. Let's go, Dango. Oh, no way, bro. I'm lucky. A special D-drop, of course. There's a whip crash, right? So, I trade two for one. Oh, I didn't even trade two for one. I trade one for one and, like, the whole health bar in the gold Dango. You think I got a citrus berry, right? I think I got that citrus berry. <laughs> Yeah, we take those boosts. All right, cool. Hey, hey, that's what that's what we want to do the whole time. So they can bring back out that hands. Um, I could also bring up my palm out, dude, and just pop a uh, dude. I'll, I'll do it. It's it's time for me to go annihilate round two. Annihilate round two. We can also go like fake out and some stuff too. I kind of I, I kind of don't hate this. Hands. All right, dude, you can fake out this palm out, bro. Let's realistically think about what we want to do here. I think you blessing. I, I really, really do. So, like, we're going to pivot in the mouse. And I'll, I'm going to blessing, dude. This is hilarious. Because I'm thinking I could, I could shock. Oh, blessing, dude. This is going to be awesome. Revival blessing. Let's do it. Annihilate. Again. Let's see what they walk into. Because then I could still, like, Grass Terra and, like, completely wall the hands. Because if they just have Wild Charge, like, we don't care. Then, and if they go for, like, a Drain Punch or something into my Ice... Oh, Icy Wind. They're faster than this. They're Scarfed. Pama holds. Pama holds. That's sick. All right. Revival Blessing. Let's go. <laughs> Yo. So Scarf Tatsu specs hands. Give me that ape. Ape Escape, let's see what you got out here, buddy. Thunder Punch, that's Volt Absorb, bro. Bro, anyone, anyone, you ever see that Volt Absorb? Volt Absorb some of these, okay. So you're stuck using that move. And so we just KO your, uh, I mean, dude, I could, I could swap in and, oh, there's so many cool things I can do here. I'm just gonna go for the KO on the Tatsu, I think. And like, realistically, I can't fake out, can't really do that much. I think you can just pivot in and get a defiant proc here is where I'm looking. Yeah. Swap in on the Icy Wing and get a defiant proc and like one shot the hands. It's nice knowing what moves they have. I think there's a slight world where they go, okay, they're gonna pivot. Okay, I was gonna say like, there's a slight world where they go try and outspeed my mouse, but it doesn't work. It, was, it wouldn't work. Icy Windies. Yo, T.Y. All right, so they're gonna lose their Tatsu here. Should be losing that Tatsu. Defiant procking it up, dude. <laughs> We're on top of it. This can miss, it's a 1% chance to miss. I just don't think it will. And got it. So they got a crit on the last one here. We take us all the way to the bank. All right, what is the mix up here? What move do you wanna lock into? You wanna lock yourself into an electric attack and never be able to hit? You want to lock yourself in a fake out? You want, what do you want to, What are we doing here? I think the right play is uh, follow me no matter what. I think because it also stops like sucker. So what I think is probably right. Uh, do, did they did they Terra? They did not. So it's like they still have a Terra. Oh, dude, what if I just went for? Dude, no. What? Whoa, man. What if I did that? That would be an unbelievable amount of damage. 
Oh, I'm definitely just gonna do that. That's hilarious. Late game was like turn eight beat up. Oh, we're still too, we're too fast. I forgot we're too fast. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, not like this. Not like this, bro. All right, we're holding on. We're holding on. They're probably gonna drain punch the uh, the mouse, right? But let's see, but let's see that. All right, that's fine. We're dead. And then they're gonna drain punch the mouse. A hey, good play from our opponent. We we completely screwed the pooch on that one. Um, but then they're locked into Thunder Punch. Okay, so they just cannot hit Palmot, so we win. They cannot. They've chosen to never hit Palmot ever again. I wish I could just revive a blessing. SMH. All right, let's think about the play here. They're gonna want to go after Goldengo, but Goldengo doesn't. I think if you fake out and KO that hands, we never have to worry about any mix-ups, and we can just have gold. Like we just win from there. Let's see. So we want to go... Dude, we can take its loaded dice and block a sucker. That's actually really sick. So we want to fake out here. And... Dude, I want my specs back, bro. Shadow Ball KO from there. Even if you protect with the uh, Brute Bond, we still got it. I think. I kind of want to take their... I really kind of want to take their, um, their loaded dice. <laughs> A good damage. So their sets usually like Rage Powder, Spore. Um, let's see, Rage Powder, Spore, uh, Bullet Seed, and Crunch or Sucker. It's usually Crunch or Sucker. And they didn't try and Sucker there. Note that they did not try and use Sucker Punch. Otherwise, it would have went before. You know, it would have went before uh, the Shadow Ball. So that means that they don't probably have Sucker Punch, which means we can just close, close combat. What's our Terra? That's not the right Terra. I mean, it's not wrong, but uh, we're just going to close combat. And we might as well just making it rain. See what you got, buddy. Last turn of the game. Where are you looking? We got the Palmot KOs? Dude, Palmot's the MVP here. We revived and got two Annihilates out of it. Let's see. I don't think that Sucker KOs Goldango from here either. If they had it. And if they do Sucker, they lose themselves to close combat. They do have the Sucker! They do KO the Goldango! The question is, can they live the close combat stab from Pama. Survey says Amoongus wouldn't wouldn't die. This guy does. They had the close combat, dude. Sorry, th th sorry, they had the sucker punch. They had it. Good play. We forced every single right situation there. Um and we take those wins. We take those wins all the way to the bank, dude. We use five Pokemon. I've seen a lot of people using Screamtail recently on just random teams like this, and I think it's like a booster energy normal roar set to stop Dozo. So if we see the Screamtail on the lead, it's that noble roar set. I do think we have to still respect the Serral Edge here, but I think we're in a good spot going like... I, I don't hate Pomot here. I think Pomot Ape is actually really good. But booster bundle. No, I think this is still right. This is right. We're gonna go Palmot Turbo. We are no. We're not bringing the Dozo, man. This guy's gonna go well out of his way to bring that Palafin, and we're gonna super pin that Palafin's teammates. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like Palafin and something. They usually wanna swap out or flip turn and then re come in and haze on the Dozo, but like not when that happened. Not today. Not in my house. Let's turn the brightness up as well. It's very dark in here. Very dark in here. So maybe we'll see Palafin on the lead. Don't know yet. There's Palafin Serial Edge. Cool, that works for me. So we could fake out the Palafin, or we could just destroy the Palafin. Like, we could double shock into that Palafin swap, and you know Garchomp's coming in there, right? So it's like, I think what we do is just double shock the Serial Edge and just Rage Fist it. Just delete it out of existence, right? Show me that Garchomp, buddy. You act like I haven't seen Garchomp before. I see Garchomp on the daily, bro. Yeah. Ooh, Terrastalize. Okay. Are you going to go Ground Terra? Normal Terra? Where are we looking? Steel, Dark, Bug, Grass, Fairy. It's probably still gone. I actually hope they Shadow Sneak my Nihilo to give me a Rage Fist tick. I'd appreciate you a long time. Rage Fist. Okay, no Protect. G. Weak Armor? Double shock. Okay, can we just get the KO? Oh my gosh, the damage, dude! And now I don't have that weakness to ground anymore. 
Dude, Pomot's out here slaying out here. Dude, that's sick. Nice Terrastalize, by the way, buddy. Nice Terra. He's like, what? No way. All right, so they're going to bring in Palafin, though, right? He's like, fine, I just want a Palafin anyways. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what do we do now? Because, <laughs> like, we do need to, like, swap out. They're not going to EQ. They're not. They're not going to do it. We can swap in Goldango. Probably just lose the Goldango. Ribbing out the Palmot and go for, like, a fake out pin. And I, I think, realistically, like, our best play might be to go Grass Terra here. And we're stuck using Rage Fist, so, like, just Rage Fist. Hopefully they Jet Punch our Annihilate and give us a Rage Fist tick. That'd be sick. But either way, we're going to soak some damage from Garchomp and probably just trade really well into Garchomp. And then we're going to use uh, Palmot to be able to grind out the Palafin. That's the idea. Palmot outspeeds Garchomp and outspeeds Palafin, too. So they're going to protect the first turn we bring back out Palmot. So we're going to probably fake out into the Palafin slot to see if they have Protect. And basically, once the Protect's on cooldown, that's when we'll Double Shot. Because if do I think Double Shot gets wasted if they Protect. So got to watch out for that. Also, it's good that I'm trash dodging now, so I'm not going to accidentally trash dodge my Palmot and not be able to double shock. That would suck, too. You have to have an electric type to lose it. So protect pa protect there. Okay, cool. So if you just Earthquake here, I get to bring my Palmot right out, and I would just go straight into the double shock if you kill the Goldango. That is weak. This is, this is obviously that Breath Skin, too. I still have to hit that slot. Oh, and their Rocky Helmet, dude. And their SD. That is really fucking bad. Okay. The Rocky Helmet. That makes, like, Mouse Holds so hard to use. Because, like, I was also, like, if you fire these, like, Mouse Holds, fine. But this is not good at all. This is so freaking dangerous, bro. We swap in the Palmot and then, yeah, probably this. All right, so no, that's that's a loss too. We're gonna make it rain. God, my this, this is so bad. Oh, this is so, so so much, bro. I think that Garchomp is way bulkier than it looks, and I think make it. We might be fast with Goldango. I don't know if that Garchomp is any investment. Yep, I knew it. I read that. Let's go. I was like, that Garchomp is way too thick to actually have points in speed. I bullied you. I bullied you. You can hit whatever the hell you want. Wave crash? Go nuts. It's Palma time. Goldango mission accomplished. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Palma, right? So there's two things that happen here. I want to see what they send out. We have fake out. Ooh. And they haven't Trastalized, so that they still have Ghost Terra. And they get a speed boost. If we fake out that slot... I kind of want to revive a blessing so bad. I'll fake it out. I think I might be able to get the Rage Fist KO into the Palafin. I'm doing this. Show me protect Palafin. Show me protect Palafin. What are you gonna do? Icy with me, bro? Like, show me protect Palafin. Oh, crap. Well, hey. Show me. Oh, my God. They actually did it. They doubled into, they doubled into Palma. Dude, what if I just fake out it, bro? No Terra on the... They didn't Terra already, right? Oh, they did, they did Terra. Oh, they Terra the Sarah. I could have just fake out of the freaking... Ah, uh, so frustrating. I could have just... I could have won. I was playing on Ghost Terra. Let's play on Ghost Terra. All right, so they have Freeze Dry. I think in this case scenario, the best thing I can do is... They're going to Freeze Dry plus Jet Punch, probably. So if you let them Jet Punch the Mouse Hold... I mean, the best... I can't do anything. I lose. So it's like... Wow, you protect now, huh? 
Icy Wind? Don't Icy Wind, bro. That ain't it. Free stride my, my Annihilate. Alright. I That might actually just want me the game. You hit the wrong slot. But still. I should have also won. Because I messed up and should have just fake outed your ass. But it's okay. Hopefully we get the KO here. Yeah, as long as we hit all our moves, I think we're fine. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And then I don't know if Jet Punch Oko's. I do not think that it does. But we got Mouse Turbo out here. <sighs> Place your bets, boys and girls. Wait. It's actually the right play to Encore. Because you can Encore them into the stupid move. Like, they, are, they have Protect. Right? So, if it's like... Nah, it's fine. This is fine. I'm not going to miss. I'm not going to miss. Jet Punch. Yeah, see? Like, you don't want to Encore them into that, right? <laughs> you see what I mean? There we go. So, I made the right play. <laughs> that would have been out of it bad. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, we take those. We take those all the way to the bank. We almost threw twice. <laughs> But we staying winning out here. We're not even going to breathe the dozo. That's what we like to see. A little bit of trick room with gambits as well. I think against like most into the armor's cores, I'm very comfortable with mouse save. Because you can... If the entity has ghost hair, it's an auto loss. But like, it's basically an auto loss no matter what if... That the entity has Ghost Terra. But if they're not Ghost Terra, Mouse would go Pop Bomb into it, get the KO, and then Ape would go for a final gambit into the non sashed uh, armors and you get the win. I'm thinking about what I want to bring in the back. I kind of want to bring my Palm up, but I think that you just bring Dozo Tatsu here. I think this is where you go to Dozo Tatsu. It's not like amazing, but I do think it's the right Mon to go to help wait out the TR. Um, I'm trying to remember what Terra this Dozo is, but. We'll see what happens. Tatsu's also just like a decent mon. Like, Rocky Home Tatsu ain't terrible versus hands either. So let's see. I really like the Rocky Helmet as well. I think Rocky Helmet's a really cool item. It's one of the few items in the game that can give you offensive pressure by playing defensively. We saw that Garchomp in the last round. That Rocky Helmet. They made that super scary. But let's see if we see Seeds. We want to see Seeds on the enemy because Seeds would indicate no Sash. And it would be just easier to flowchart. And again, if they have... If they have uh, Yep, no seeds. So that means it's Sash. That means we have to pop bomb it. Um, and there's there's actually, if we don't see the seeds, you have to do it like this. You have to actually go normal Terra, because that's the one that would get the KO there. And I just want to check the Terra on my Dozo while we're here. Dragon Terra, cool. All right, so remember, our uh, Mouse Hold is faster than our Annihilate. So it's going to be able to pop bomb normal Terra, KO this entity, and make our final Gambit go uh, into the Armor Rouge slot. And this all loses if they have Ghost Terra entity, which, like, I use Ghost Terra entity. Most good players use Ghost Terra Indities, but there's still a few people that have Fairy Terra Indities. Remember, we are going to be Terrastalizing first, so let's see. Let's see. And the double dip on this normal Terra Technician 10-hit Pop Bomb, this hurts. This KOs even full HP defense Indities. And as long as we hit like most of these moves, they're done -zo. The only thing that they have that stops this, note that they also did not. That's probably Sash Indity. Um, note that they did not... Oh my god, I only hit three times. I just missed a 1% chance. And they're gonna trick him here. But I just missed a 1% chance, so... They're probably trick with the entity, is what I'm saying. And expanding force for the armor. I still targeted correctly, but... Bro, I just missed, I just missed a 1% chance. I just missed a 1% chance. Just missed a one percent chance. Oh god. Torkoal, pivot in the Tatsu. He's like, heh, now you got Torkoal. Okay. There's two things that we can do here. They can clear smog. This is fine. I woke up and chose violence. We need to follow me. That's so frustrating, dude. We just missed a 1%. I got wide lens, bro. Have you ever seen that? Leave a comment. Le leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever seen anyone ever miss a wide lens pop bomb. So we're going to go inside. Let's see if they curse smog us. I'd be really frustrated if they do. 
but if they're clear spawning, it's gonna help us waste turns on their TR, and then we'll just spam like rest and stuff like that. So we'll see. Cause I kind of also want like just follow me, but I think they're gonna erupt, right? Or solar beam maybe. Terastalize. Dude, are they going helping hand eruption? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm Dozo. I don't know if anyone told. I, actually, I couldn't have terrorized because I already terrorized. But like, it looks like they are. <laughs> Dude, they want this. They want this. Okay. Hey, go nuts. All right, let's see it. Helping hand. All right. I mean, helping hand erupt. Dude, how much glue can this team actually eat? It did. It did all the. It kick. It clicked every single glue box. Elmer's extra strength out here. How much you do? That's a lot. <laughs> and now you're weak. And I'm just gonna rest. Yeah. If you don't even want to KO it, you just wanna. You wanna get it low enough. I mean, I guess you could, like, helping hand something, something, something. We're just going to rest and probably wait out the TR turns. We just had to do a little bit of damage. I mean, you got, if you got helping hand Solar Beam, you got helping hand Solar Beam. I got faith in you. But your Torkoal's done with its eruption days. Like, Solar Beam Psychic probably gets you. Like, gets, gets the KO here. find out go find out i like the upgrades that show like every all the camera moving around and everything but like i feel like it's so soulless you know there's the follow me dude i'm just resting bro erupt clear smog so you did have clear smog that's what you should you should have done that last turn no I, maybe last turn that was the play it's nap time though about to be full healing out here yo 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 yeah tozo Three turns, two turns. Dos Trickrumos. And he's like, ha, I am now fine. You're not fine. My Dozo doesn't sleep, it waits. Flamethrower, bro, go nuts. They're psychic in here too, I think, right? This is gonna do a lot, this is gonna do a lot. That's a lot. Okay, Dozo. If you could hit literally anything, that'd be great. Let's go, though. Order up, yes. Mm, that's a crit, dude. <laughs> dude, that was a crit, man. All right, so we're going to lose Dozo next turn. It would have been... No, this is fine. So this is going to make Tatsu have to take a hit from the NDD. Unless they just, like, follow me for some reason. Like, follow me... That would actually be really nice for me if they did that, but... I think we're fine. Even if Tatsu takes a hit, it won't get KO'd by a Psychic. And then we got Mouse. Like, Mouse is so big. We can just go, like, Muddy Water, finish up the Torkoal, and, uh, finish up the Indy. Get my Revenge. What if it's, like, Bright Powder Indy, which is why it missed? No, thanks. It's totally Sash. And then what's our last Mon? Like, is it something Mouse can't hit? Is it something stupid, like, a Ghost type? Could be. Flamethrower takes us out. Indy's not using Helping Hand or anything weird. So, Indy's gonna be able to hit the Tatsu. I just don't think they KO. Crit, dude, unlucky, bro. Where's my flamethrower eruption? What a weird set. So Tatsu's gonna pop out. Poor old Tatsu, don't get crit, buddy. <sighs> nice. No more trick rumos. All right, mouse. So let's see, can we get our revenge? What could they have in the back? That's like the real question here. They could totally have really good mons in the back. They could have Ape or the Flutter, and both those would, like, lose us the game. I still think you have to go... Nah, you go Icy one in case they swap in, like, Flutter or Ape. Especially the Flutter, I think. Because it would just KO the Torkoal. And we just pop on the Entity. Let's see it! I can't believe I missed a freaking pop bomb. Though this game would have been over like five turns ago. Withdraw entity for ghost type, right? Annihilate, okay, okay. Speed drop in the annihilate is never usually a good idea. But we'll see if they even have Defiant. Icy Wind hits on the Torkoal. So now that ape's slower than my Torkoal. That's uh sorry, slower than my Tatsu. That's good to know. We're gonna see if they have lefties on that thing too. Lefties? 
Have lefties, please. Please have lefties. Come on. Come on, just do it. Have lefties. Have lefties. Damn it. I wanted it to protect to get an extra, like, tick of... I wanted them to go, like, protect Trick Room so I can kill the Unity and then Encore them. Because then I would win. But right now, I think my only out is probably something like... Muddy Water and Pop Bomb. Muddy Water into a Draco is probably my only out. And you want a Muddy Water first because it's just the most amount of damage. Follow me? Cool, quick. Hey, we gotta hit this Pop Bomb, right? I hit the first one. Okay. Now, if they're good, they will hit this Tatsu so hard. Draco would not KO this ape here, by the way. Does not KO. So, like, they're... There's no reason that Draco, I think there's a better shot to go for the Muddy Water Accuracy Drop. Okay. Oh, and I get it! Let's go. CC and my Tatsu? Good play, I can't win now. Wait! No, I actually, I still can win this game. I'm not kidding. If they use the wrong move ever, I can win. I can, I can, I can win this game. <laughs> if you dare show me a Protect, I can win. I can hit you once. Okay. Bulk up. Don't close combat, bro. Miss. <laughs> Dang it, man. Dude, we almost had it. We got so close that game. I think that's probably a vested ape. Because they didn't have lefties, they didn't have citrus. All because we missed the pop bomb, dude. We missed the pop bomb. Ah, Vaporeon. All right, so that Vaporeon is going to be coming to beat our Dozo, and we're just not going to bring it. It's Palmot Turbo time. I think against this sort of board, uh, the bundle is really scary, but we can weed ape. If the bundle's so scary, we can just leave Pama. Like, I think Pama is okay. Uh, then we have to bring, do we, do we just go mouse hold? Pama mouse hold, so like fake out normal terra pop bomb Garchomp into like a turn to lose. Yeah, I think that's fine. Alright, let's try this. We're going Palmot Turbo time. And hopefully we get this win. Come on, let me get this win. Let me get this one. Come on. This team's really hard to play when you can't bring the Dozo. And they they have to bring Vaporeon in the back. So they're going to have one mod in the back that is passive. If they want to leave Vaporeon, they're nuts. They should definitely stay on the back to be able to switch it on a water attack, water absorb, and then haze. Slash yawn. They shouldn't leave with Vaporeon. Awesome. That's fine. This is gonna be so weird. You guys think it's Scarf Chomp? It's probably Scarf Chomp, right? All right, we're gonna we're gonna say that that is El Scarfo Chompo. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm, I'm this guy, bro. What was me like Covert Cloak Rotom, Ghost Terra Rotom? Which one, buddy? We gotta go Normal Terra. Now remember, everyone's like, that's a your pop up and a Garchomp. Hopefully I don't miss, right? Hopefully we don't miss. But um. I hope they don't have Rocky Helmet, but if they, if they, I should do more damage than I take from the hits, right? I should do more damage than I take from Rough Skin. Protect Garchomp? The Degeneracy, bro. Are you really Covert Cloak? No way, bro. They're scouting for Ice Punch, which I do not have. And we're going to see if they're uh, Cloak. Cloak Rotom, which is end my life right now. Absolutely end my life. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. They have any Ghost types? They do not. So we can totally go into that slot. I think what we actually do is go... I think we're going to switch an ape. And actually just pop bomb. Oh, we can encore the Garchomp. They're going to EQ or switch it. I think they might switch it because they know we want that damage. So they might just switch it. Let's just get the Rotom off the board then. Save the Palma. No reason to lose Palma right now. I thought about... I thought about going for a close combat on the Garchomp. Let's let's be real and call it what it is. I thought about it. Is that T-Tar? Okay. We're going to get the Rotom off the board and take an EQ on this board, but that is going to make our Annihilate a little bit better. Even if this is a Citrus Rotom. There's a Citrus right there. We should be able to get the KO as long as we don't royally mess up. There we go. Don't miss. Can you just not miss? Please? One more. Oh, thank goodness. I really just like... That miss really messes me up. And then EQ, right? Why not EQ? 
It's free. Free real estate. Powering up my Rage Fist. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. Bundle? Always. Yeah, 100%. This is the only Pokemon that people know how to use. And Speed Boost, of course. Of course. Now let's think about what the play is here. This is a, this is a hard read. I have to be the Garchomp with this. You're going to EQ and probably you're not you're gonna eq protect so i'm gonna curse that and if you're gonna eq protect i'm actually gonna go rage fist into your garchomp get it off the board and beat up it right because you're gonna you're gonna go protect bundle at eq right there's no reason why you wouldn't do that oh god just ice beam ice beam freeze try i haven't ever even heard of Freeze dry, ice beam, ice beam. I was gonna switch in Goldango, but I guess freaking not. This is gonna do decent damage we're about in one tick. Yeah, decent damage tick, rough skin. All right, we're not dead. Ooh, you're you're dead now. Cool. So Palma, we can revive a blessing here. We definitely can. We def like, this is such a protect EQ board, right? So if this were to KO Garchomp, we win. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the crypto. You know what I'm about. You know what I'm about. Oh my goodness, we trying our best. Let's go. Double protect! Yes! Oh my gosh, the revival reads, boys! The conditioning! Rage was blocked, that's fine. That's fine and dandy. Give me back my mouse hole. Do I get my Terra back too? Oh, yes. Yes. Mouse hold revived. All right, Rage Fist is there and Double. Do we need the Double? Do we? This is the same base, so it's like you might as well just close combat it instead of a. Uh... Because you want to save the Double Shock around if like. Yeah, Ice Beam's fine. They go into there. And then, if I can take out this bundle with this close combat... I don't think I can. It's a bundle, right? But, uh... Let's see. Oh! Dude, Pamato! Pamato! My boy. My boy. My baby boy. I could have actually went the double shock to lose electric. But, like, this would still, like, basically cut my stash anyways. Yeah. Yeah, we got Mouse Hold! And Mouse Hold should... Should maybe, maybe be able to take out that Garchomp? We don't know it's item, right? Um, like, if you're Rocky Helmet, I get, like, two shots of this pop bomb. Vaporeon, right? Yo! Oh my gosh, let's do this. Let's do this! Got one shot, one opportunity. They don't really have Uncle either, so if they protect that Garchomp, it's over. Ugh! Protect, yes, yes, oh my gosh. Oh, dude, let's go, let's go. Nope, double protect, okay, okay. They could have double protected the Vaporeon too, because like they could have like uh, done that to play star double shock. Let's see if we got the damage. Dude, that thing just ate it. Holy moly, dude. Muddy water, all right, don't kill my mouse hold, don't kill my mouse hold. We hold, we hold, don't, don't. All right, no action drops, no action drops. They probably think they have it. They probably think they're so smooth. They're like, yo, all I gotta do is protect EQ. And I'm like, protect some of these, bro. Encore. Making it rain. Protect? And dude, they actually went for the double protect. They went for the double protect. Okay. Hey, it's still game, bro. We got Quick Claw Vaporeon out here. We should outspeed a Vaporeon, right? Yeah. <laughs> Take that thing out. And then we just Encore the Garchomp when we have it. We never even have to, like, get ourselves in a situation where we'd have to take a Rough Skin. Doesn't matter how many stat drops we take, either. But we'll eventually ground up the Garchomp. Why would you protect? That's a weird protect. I don't care, man. We take us all the way to the bank, bro. All the way to the bank! I, You know I got that Encore out here. 
making it rain. Battle was canceled because they knew we had him in the encore loop. Popmont Turbo, who needs Dozo? Not me. We stay taking those wins. I actually really want to make Palmont work. I think that, you know, this is Palmont on a Dozo team, but I think there's so much potential for making Palmont work on like its own team that can feature it, that if you pair it with the right partner that conditions them to protect or switch, there are some big scenarios where Palmont can be absolutely busted. So be in the lookout for that sometime in the future. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I don't think I have a question of the day today. Um, let me know an answer of the day. Just let me know something you want to leave a comment about. It could be literally anything. And uh, yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time.